There had been a long-standing mutual relations between the Ghana Police Service and the media. Anytime there were issues bordering crime and related matters, the media could freely seek clarification from regional public relations officers. But since Dr. George Ekufu Dampari took over as Inspector General of Police, a new directive was given where every information must come from the national headquarters. But the directive was criticized by media personnel who viewed it as detrimental to the free flow of information. But the IGP in his response to the Parliamentary Committee probe asserted that they were adhering to international best practices. It is something we have discussed at POMA, agreed upon a strategy for redefining our engagement with the public in a manner that sits well with international best practice. Everybody across the country granting interviews on matters of police from a perspective that at times is not informed by the full facts. And at the end of it all, when the facts come, the organization look unpresentable. He said the move is to provide accurate information to the public and maintain the image of the police service. A police management with regional commanders meetings were held. And all the PROs were brought, and they deliberated on this. And we all saw that this is good for the organization. <laughs> you see that in recent times, information from police across all our media space are delivered on matters as soon as we have the full fast that will inform the public to continue to deepen their trust, confidence, and respect for us. We do that irrespective of the time of the day. It is true that a centralized system of disseminating information, particularly when there are delays, could lead to speculation and misinformation. But with the IGP insisting on maintaining this form of engagement, what could be done? As far as the media are concerned, nobody, no institution, no public office holder is about criticism. So if the media find what the IGP and his men are doing now, as inefficient, let them, uh, the media should raise the issue critically and dialogue with them to improve the system. Professor Kakari says the service could be blamed if there are challenges in getting information to the public. If the idea is to improve the situation, the question I have is when will they finish with the current assessment of the old practice and what new system do they really want to put in place? To what extent can the media engage with the police officers who are not at headquarters? They will have to take the blame if there are more questions than answers. Until that is addressed, the media will continue to rely on centralized information. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Accra.